because you are college students and are paying tuition to attend school, you have access to some great resources that you can't find on the internet. Check out the presentation from our librarian Joe Davies in the presentations in this class, and check out the library tab on the blackboard. Remember that for our upcoming speeches, at least one source needs to come from the Herzing Library. The remainder of this presentation will focus on researching the free internet and on determining the credibility of your sources. Now, most of us start in the same place when we research on the free internet. Google. Google is the most used search engine on the internet, and it's so popular its name has even become a verb. Other general search engines include Yahoo, Bing, AltaVista, Lycos, Metacrawler, and Dogpile. It's a good idea to use more than one of these to search your topic because you might get different results depending on where you search. Start by typing your topic into the database and see what comes up. Chances are you'll get some good hits, but you need to make sure that you're not clicking on ads. Try to stick to pages instead. On the free internet, you can also search subject directories. These are different from general databases because they're organized into directories um, of topic-specific materials. Here are some examples. The Google directory, Yahoo directory, InfoMime, Internet Public Library, and Google Scholar. The biggest drawback about these sites is that they will link you to articles that you may not be able to find for free. Do not pay for access to these articles. Instead, try to find them at Herzing's library. Remember, you're already paying for access to these articles through your tuition dollars. You don't need to pay for them again on the web. It's really important that you read Chapter 7 really carefully as you research your speech. This chapter contains much more information than I can discuss here. It's really important that you let your textbook be your guide as you research your speech. Please also consult the Herzing Library. Your librarians will tell you how to use the excellent library resources on campus and how to come up with good keyword searches for your topics. Once you've found lots of great topics or resources for your topic, you need to evaluate them and make sure they are credible. As your textbook suggests, here are some questions to ask yourself. Does the source contain factual and statistical information? Does the source cite experts that can add helpful testimony? Does the source contain interesting examples to use in your speech? If the answers to these questions are yes, then chances are you found a great source. But here are a few other questions to ask yourself involving the four R's. Relevance, representativeness, recency, and reliability. Relevance means that the source applies directly to your topic. Representativeness means that the evidence you found is an accurate portrayal of real life. Recency means that the source is current, and reliability means that the evidence is from a credible source. There are many, many, many different kinds of websites out there, and as you know, you need to make sure you're getting information from credible ones. You could find personal websites and blogs. You could find advocacy websites sponsored by special interest groups. Uh, you could find information websites designed to catalog a whole bunch of information in one place. In any of these cases, you need to scrutinize the site and make sure it's credible. You can do this by using the four R's. You can also ask yourself, is the author an authority on the subject? Are they the experts you want to cite in your speech? Is the website accurate? Is the website objective? Is the information um, carefully evaluated and can you carefully evaluate the information you find on the free internet because anyone can put anything on the internet. Before you cite it in your speech you need to make sure you are citing a reputable source. One final tip is to know the difference between web addresses. .com addresses are commercial sites, personal sites, and blogs. .edu addresses are university sponsored and sometimes contain scholarly research. .gov addresses are sponsored by the government and can contain excellent facts and statistics. As you research your speech, be sure to access the library materials that go along with this week. Remember that your instructor and your librarians are important resources and keep Chapter 7 by your side when perusing the free internet. Happy researching! And don't forget to take the weekly presentation quiz.